It's now March 2019 and the long awaited uh, update for e-cockpit and e-runtime from Wago is now available. Um, the most exciting thing for me is that the e-runtime update uh, allows installation now of the Docker engine and Wago has made available an IPK for this. If you're not familiar with Docker, Docker is an excellent way to supplement your current operating system to allow it to run programs that may not be compatible in the past. Things like Node-RED or Grafana or InfluxDB, um, which are not so easy to install on the core firmware. So uh, in this video, we're going to install the Docker engine. Uh, we're going to spin up a couple of simple examples, and we're even going to show some interaction with the uh, e-cockpit environment. So, um, I'll be using a Generation 2 PFC using firmware 12, so let's get powered up and get started. Now, to understand Docker, you can see how it sits in the operating system. Uh, in between the binaries, libraries, and data, it creates a subtraction layer which allows us to run all of these different applications and services. Uh, things like Node-RED, uh, Mosquito, MySQL, uh, or Grafana and Influx, like our example here. So to begin, we're going to make sure we're using firmware 12, and we're going to do a little housekeeping on the PLC. We'll add, um, we'll configure it for e-runtime, we'll add some network settings, we'll change this to static IP, we'll add some DNS servers, uh, and we'll just point these towards Google so that we can touch the internet. We'll go to routing and we'll point this towards our router. Um, we'll also go to ports and services, enable FTP, and then I'm going to add an NTP client so that we're um, using current time as well. Uh, now we're going to FTP into the controller and we're going to move our IPK files into the root directory. And we can shell in from here uh, and we can do the O package install. This changed from firmware 11. Um, first we're going to add an SD card. And once we've added the SD card, now we can run O package install uh, with our Docker IPK. Once this is complete, we're also going to install this uh, libcurl, which has the curl service, and now we need to reboot. Next, we'll look at the service we're going to install, which is Grafana first. Uh, Grafana is an open source dashboard, and if we go to the Grafana website and go to the live demo, you can see the kind of potential. So uh, now we're going to navigate to the Docker hub. That's uh, hub.docker.com, and we're just going to search Grafana. You can see uh, there are over 10 million polls on this image, so this looks like a good candidate. This typically will include um, it, uh, information on how to run this, and you can copy the docker pull command here on the right. So we're just going to issue this in command line, docker pull grafana slash grafana. Uh, this may take uh, some time depending on the size of the package, and I'm speeding this up um, for time's sake on the video. But it will go through the download process, and it will do the install. So when it's complete, now we can go uh, run docker images and see the image there. And we can copy the run command from the docker hub. I'm going to change this a little bit because I want it to restart and I want to just simply tie it to the network host rather than forwarding ports. I'm also going to add this volume command that will tie it to my local time. So now you can see once we've issued the run command, we have it running in the web server. So you've seen now in command line how to pull a Docker image and how to get it running. So um, we were able to connect to Grafana. We still don't have a data source for it, and for that we're going to use InfluxDB just as an example. But instead of doing that in the command line, I would like to show you how to start the container uh, in an e-cockpit project. So we're going to open e-cockpit and get started with that now. Similar to past projects, I'm not going to dig into the code here. Um, I simply wrote a function block and I made this available in my GitHub account um, where I can issue the uh, docker run commands from uh, eCockpit. Now, when the image doesn't exist and you issue a run command, it will pull that image. And you'll see here we, we um, toggle enable and it's pulled the image now and it's running. So if we do docker images, we can see our influx DB and uh, we can see that it's running. So when we kill this, um, you can also see it kills the, uh, the container. So I'm just going to add the rest of my code in here, which will actually log data to the InfluxDB. Um, again, this is all part of an example project I uh, made available in my GitHub account. So when we run this project, it's going to um, it's going to spin up the container, and it's going to start um, it's going to create the database and start logging data. So now we should have data points in Grafana. So now if we go back to the Grafana dashboard, we can um, add our data source. We're going to use InfluxDB. Um, we're going to push. Our, we're going to point this towards the um, IP address of the controller, um, and we'll look for my DB. And you can see our data looks good. So now we're just going to add a graph here, um, and look for our uh, 
um, our values. So you can see now that it's running. So now we've installed the Docker engine, we've added a couple of images and run those as containers. Um, please leave your project and application ideas in the comments below. Ask any questions that you have and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.